Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I want to talk to you about, about my amazing, hopefully amazing, TBR for August. So for our August, I have decided to finally tackle all of my Elizabeth Stroud books. There's one in here I actually can't find, but like, I'm gonna tackle five Elizabeth Stroud books that I all own and haven't read any of them. Which is slightly ridiculous, and the reason I'm finally reading this is because there, uh, she just came out with a new one, like just a couple of months ago, and I kind of want to buy it, but I shouldn't until I have finally read at least one of her books. So I want to read all of them because they all interlink, um, or at least there are two series basically. One of them is the Lucy Barton series. Um, this, I think, is the first novel, and in this book, we have Lucy, who is recovering from an operation in hospital, and her estranged uh, mom comes to visit her, and they sort of talk about life and how she grew up, and yeah, that's basically it. <laughs> the next book is um, also about Lucy, but this time it's about her siblings, um, and one of them, they're quite different. One uh, trades self-respect for a wealthy husband, while the other finds uh, in the pages of a book a kindred spirit who changes her life. And um, she, Lucy in this book visits her sisters after 17 years of absence. And again, an exploration of sisterhood and family. And whoops, <laughs> the third book is called O William. Um, in this novel, Lucy goes on a journey with her ex-husband William, who has always been a sort of enigma to her, and they are about to uncover like a family secret. That's all I know about it. And that fourth book in this series is Lucy at the Sea, and I have no idea what that is about, but that's the one that um, has just come out. And then the other series is Olive Kitteridge. Um, this I'm just going to read to you. At times stern, at other times patient, at times perceptive, at other times in sad denial. Olive Kitteridge, a retired school teacher, deplores the changes in the little town of Cross Maine in the world at large, but she doesn't always recognize the changes in those around her. And so there are different characters who all have changes that she doesn't really see and that she comes to realize. And this was made into a movie, as far as I know, and um, yeah. And then there are the Burgess, Burgess Boys, which is a book I can't find right now. I have no idea where it is, um, but I think it plays in the same universe. Don't really know, but I'm thinking that. Um, another book that I definitely want to get to is a book that I have been dying to read, and that is Boy Snowbird by Helen Oyemi. So this is, I think, such a cool idea of a snow, um, um, snow White retelling. So in this book, we have our main protagonist, Boy Novak. She is a um, really beautiful woman who, in the 1950s, meets a guy, Arturo Whitman, who has already, already has a daughter. And she didn't really plan on not having a good relationship with, with her stepdaughter, but then she has um, her own child, um, Bird, who is dark-skinned and exposes Boy as the African-American that she is. She was just white passing, um, but um, Bird is pretty dark. And it is about um, what beauty is, I think, and who gets accepted, and that race, beauty, that sort of thing. Um, I think this is gonna be fantastic, and I can't wait to dig into this one. Next up is a library read that I should re finally return and that I just haven't managed to get to and that's Tom DeFreston's um, A Wreck. Um, Tom DeFreston is the husband of Kieran, Mil Kieran Middlewood Hargrave um, who wrote uh, The Mercies which is like such an amazing book and The Dance Tree is a latest novel and in this book Tom DeFreston and her husband who is an artist writes about the um, the painting The Raft of the Medusa, which you can see here in the end papers. And um, The Raft of the Medusa is a huge canvas which uh, with a really touching story. Um, it's basically about a ship, um, it's a real story, it's about a ship that was stranded and 
they weren't rescued for a while, so they started eating each other, and it's about that. Um, and he writes about the impact of this painting and how it touches about upon the refugee crisis today. I think this is going to be a fun book for an art historian like me. And last but not least, you may have already guessed it, is the next book in the Throne of Grass series called Queen of Shadows. Um, <clears throat> so in this book, I think we, this is definitely a lot of people's favorite, I think, or I think the fifth one, but like, this is one of the books that people really love. So we finally know Selena's true, true name and she has finally sort of acknowledged her true identity and um, um, she is finally ready to, to reclaim her last throne. And that's all I know about it. I'm excited for this installment and that's all I know. So yeah, let me know down in the comments below if you've read any of these. Have you read Elizabeth? Elizabeth Stroud. If so, let me know if you like her and I will see you soon. Bye!